Hi everyone, it's Crafty Mom with Three Sets of Twins. I hope you're going to enjoy our channel today. And if you would subscribe, that would be wonderful. And hit the like button and the notification bell. And always remember to be kind to each other. And have a great day. Hi, I got these cute little styrofoam rabbits from the Dollar Tree. Look how cute they are. I've been waiting for them. I had the little ones, but they finally got in the big little fat ones. I'm going to paint them with the white, I mean Waverly elephant paint. And then I have the other one, which I will paint with the white. So I'm just, I started to like dry them with a the heat gun that wasn't a very good idea because they are styrofoam so I just let them dry um, out naturally and if you can see I'm just going back over it because once I did the heat gun it sort of made it splotchy okay I have the little white one and I'm just going to paint him white with some chalk paint And I will let him air dry too. Now I went back over them and I just made them look a little like they've been outside for a while. We have some outside cats and they look pretty rough. I mean they have patches of fur off of them. So I'm just going to make these little bunnies look like they're outdoor bunnies. And like they've been fighting. So I'm going to put some like elephant paint on the white one and some white paint on the elephant one. But these cute little cats that are outdoors, boy, they must have a hard life. We feed them, we put out food for them, and one of them actually um, will hide in my shed way up at the top. And the other one looks like his ear has been bitten off, part of it anyway. But I think some of the kids in the neighborhood probably were mean to them because they won't let you catch them. Okay, I'm going to take a little cotton ball and attach it to their little rear ends so that they have a little cotton tail. Look how cute they are. Now, I got this grass mat at Hobby Lobby. I actually got four of them and they're in my living room on a coffee table so I'm making like a little Easter scene on the coffee table which I'll show in a later video and I'm just putting some Easter eggs and carrots and there they are look at them they're so cute oh look how cute they are I know this cat outside is missing a big old patch of fur. Okay, then I have this little wood slat um, plate, I guess, from Dollar Tree. I'm painting it green.
but these are so cute, the little carrots. Well, people that don't have nails, I don't know how you get these off. Okay, and there you go. Look how cute that looks. It's just a little sign for my little scene. And there it is. Carrots for sale, 25 cents each. My next one is... It's, um, I got this paper. I have a scrapbook pad that has got all the holidays in it. So I pulled a piece of paper out of this. And I'm just going to use the cardboard that came in the picture frame. And I'm just going to run a pencil around it to get the same size. And then I'm just going to cut it out. And I'm using my glue stick to put it to the back of the cardboard so that it won't be moving around inside the frame since I won't be using the glass. And then I'll put it on the frame. I wanted to keep this frame silver because I didn't want a lot of color. I didn't want anything to pop with that paper that I used. Okay, now I'm using the chalk point paint from Dollar Tree and I have this rabbit that I got from Dollar General. And I'm gonna paint this little bunny black. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame, but I'm just painting the edges and the front and back black. And then I'm going to use my heat gun. It just really took one coat. This is why I left that frame pretty much like a basic color. I'm going to put some twine around the rabbit's neck. I'll just put a little dab of glue on the back after I tie it. That way it won't come undone when I put it on the picture. Okay, now I'm just putting glue on the back of the rabbit. I'm going to glue it to my picture frame. This is just something simple, easy, quick. And I made a little pom-pom for the tail. You just wrap the yarn around your fingers about 10, 12 times. Then you're going to tie a little piece of the yarn in the middle and just cut it. And then you have a pom-pom. I'm sure we all made these in grade school. I used to make them in grade school anyway. It's pretty simple, quick and easy. And there it is. There's my little black bunny. I love the way he turned out. He's cute. It reminds me of my cat. My cat's fat. Just something simple. And cute. Next is I ended up using the last four little bunnies from the garland that came from the Dollar Tree. And I painted my little 
plaque, which was one of the boards from Dollar Tree White. And I'm just going to glue these little bunnies all together. And it's turning out really cute. I have a lot of bunnies around my house. And then I have the little felt um, they're like little felt letters that I got at the Dollar Tree, and these are black. And I'm just going to layer them up and down, not straight. I'm pulling the adhesive off the back. And these have really good stickers on the back too. The adhesive is really nice. Just got to get that paper off the back so it doesn't pull apart. And the letters are thick enough, which is nice, nice so they don't rip like the poster ones do. And they're felt, so they even look cute. It's a nice black color. And I sort of staggered them just to make it look cuter. So it's going to say bunny kisses. Okay, I have these cute little flowers from Dollar Tree and you know where the little string went through the bunny's ears I'm going to put that so you don't see the little holes so they're all going to get little flowers right there by their little ears
and it will cover up those little tiny holes in the felt. Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. They are so stinking cute. Look at my little bunnies. Okay, then I'm going to take these little eggs that you get at Dollar Tree. I'm just pulling the little, little ribbons to hang on a tree if you wanted to. I'm just pulling them out. And uh, just going to glue them to the board. And that's going to be really cute. It's got little bunnies and eggs and bunny kisses and flowers and little cottontail bunnies. Got glue all over my hands, <laughs> of course. and all those little glue strings that you get sometimes from the glue. gonna press it down and make sure they stay on there and look how cute that is bunny kisses piece of glue that dropped on the felt so I'm trying to get it off carefully without messing it up and it came right off which is nice trying to show it because it's hard to show that long board but look how cute this turned out I love the soft colors just reminds you of Easter Easter is April 4th okay we have these little chalkboard tags so and they've got adhesive on the back so I'm gonna put that down right by the bunny kisses and I'm going to use my chalkboard paint and I'm going to put 25 cents on there just making sure it comes out right
And there you go, bunny kisses, 25 cents, come and get them. So I decided to put like a piece of ribbon on the back so that if you want to hang it, you can. That way you have the choice of just letting it sit along a wall or you can hang it on a door. So I'm thinking that I might just go around my neighborhood, since I've made so many of these Easter DIYs, and just, I guess, set them out on people's front steps as a little surprise for Easter. I have a really nice neighborhood, and everybody's pretty nice. So I might just do that, because it's hard to store everything. You have to have a place for it. So I think I'll just be passing them around the neighborhood. Maybe it'll cheer some of these people up with the COVID. Not everybody having their vaccines yet. Look how cute that is. Oh my God, I love it. It's so cute. It turned out very sweet. Okay, my next one, I have these little bunnies that were glitter bunnies. And I just turned them over and used them on the back side where there was no glitter. I had already painted this sign and I had did ship lap. I had taken a pencil and just drew down on each little slat. And I actually um, glued some moss on the bottom and put some eggs on there. For some reason, either we didn't get that on video or my daughter didn't get it put up. I'm not sure which it is because she's not here right now. But just take that same moss, put some glue on your board, and just press it into the board. And I'm using those same eggs and the same little carrots that came from Dollar Tree. Actually, all of this came from Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree DIY. I'd already had the board painted. And like I said, I had just taken a pencil with a ruler and drew down the lines. Now I'm going to put little cottontails on them. I think this turned out really cute too. Just something simple to brighten someone's day. I think it will look pretty with the glitter too, but some people, not everybody likes glitter. I do. Look how cute that's turning out. So cute. So, if you can, will you please subscribe? Um, hit the like button, the notification bell, and share with your family and friends. That would be awesome. 
I'm really trying to grow this channel. It seems to be taking forever. But patience is a virtue, as we all know. I think these turned out really cute too. They're just little something simple. Easter bunny with the eggs and carrots. They're little cottontails. It's just sweet and cute. And you could put this anywhere and it'll look cute. Plus the colors will brighten your day. Okay, I'm just gonna put some of this little garland to hang it. That way it'll be have the little pearls on it and it'll be really pretty and you can hang it up on your wall or your daughter's room or you can give it to your mom or one of your co-workers or take it to work with you and hang it up in your office. There's so many uses for these cute little DIYs. So if you have any comments, please list them below. If you have anything you might want me to make, I'm going to start my spring collection this week. I'm sort of done with Easter. I think I've done a lot of Easter. I had a lot of Easter crafts, so I just wanted to really put them together because I'm going to give a lot of these away. And uh, just put smiles on people's faces. So I'll be doing my spring collection, so please stay tuned and uh, watch for our channel. So just know that we love you and stay safe and that kindness matters and kindness can change everything. And you can put a smile on somebody's face just by giving them a really good comment about maybe their hair or their makeup or what they're wearing. And that way you make their day just by being positive and saying something like really positive to them. I'm loving the way this is turning out. It's so cute. And look how cute that turned out. Oh my God, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. How cute. Somebody's going to really enjoy this. So guys, just remember, subscribe. Um, hit the like bell. I mean, the like button and the notification bell. And we will see you in the next video. And I hope you're enjoying your afternoon or your day or your evening and um just be kind thank you for watching hi guys this diy i already had the lantern it's one of my favorite ones it matches my living room so i glued a piece of floral foam on the top 
And now all I'm going to do is just cut Dollar Tree flowers and put them into this little foam and make a beautiful flower arrangement for the lantern. So this may take a while because I'm going to make it really full and beautiful. So I have no particular order that I go in. I just um, just get a bunch and I just start putting them in the floral foam till I get the look that I'm looking for. Okay, now you can see I'm almost finished. I'm going to fill my little lantern with Easter eggs. I'm gonna pour some more from the Dollar Tree. Well, actually, I think these came from Dollar General, the little speckled ones. So I'm just going to put a bunch in there. And there it is. You don't have to really put the Easter eggs in there if you don't want to. You can even put a bunny on top or you could just put your candle back in there. But there it is. I think it turned out really sweet and pretty. There it is on my table out in my foyer. Okay, my next one is I had this old box. It had paper dolls written on it. And I'm sure it was at least 20 years old. I found it in my basement. And I'm going to paint it pink. Now, I had to put like a ton of pink on it. Um, I probably should have painted it white first because that's what I normally do, but I didn't this time. And the pink I got is from Dollar Tree and it wasn't real thick. I started putting um, baby powder in the pink to make it thicker and that helped a lot but it took about three or four coats I think I need to go back to my plastic styrofoam plates because I think the paper plates just soak up so much paint.
Just going to add some baby powder to it to try to make it thicker, go further. Okay, I'm gonna put a piece. Of, well, I can't even talk. I'm gonna put a piece of the styrofoam, and I'm gonna cut it to fit in there. I have two pieces. Dollar Tree is where I got it. Now I'm just gonna take all these beautiful flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to make another little floral arrangement into the box. That's the little butterfly flower that Dollar Tree carries. It's really cute. We put some little Easter eggs in there from the Dollar Tree. And I have this cute little bunny <laughs> that, believe it or not, it came from McDonald's in one of those little uh, children's boxes. And I'm cutting off the tag. It's a little bunny, and it's up from McDonald's. I'm going to take a little um, wired stick and glue it to the back of him and then stick him in the planner. I'm just holding it down so it stays um, like it dries. So don't throw away those McDonald toys. You can always use them in your crafts. There's that little butterfly flower again. Little bunnies going in. Just 
just cutting him down so he'll fit in there. Oh, look how cute he is. Oh, my goodness. He is so cute. Love the way he's turning out. This makes a really cute little gift for maybe your mother-in-law, your kids. Look how cute. And I did it from both sides. Love it. Love the way it turned out. Such a sweet little gift. All right, this one, I really thought I wanted to do something with this um, felt one that they had at the Dollar Tree because I love the little bunny's face. And of course, I love their little eggs on a steak. So I'm going to cut the bunny head off. This is just a quick and easy one. It's not a lot to it. I painted the sign, which was one of the signs from Dollar Tree, and I painted it um, the Waverly Chalk Paint White. Sometimes I just paint a bunch of them, and I have them ready to go. And now I'm going to get his head off. Take his tag off. how cute his face is. Now I'm going to take the steak off of the egg. Just flop it off. Pull the tag off. And that's going to be his belly. Got these little felt feet from the Dollar Tree. And now I'm just going to hot glue them on there. Simple, easy, quick, and cute. Look how cute he's going to turn out. Gluing his little feet first. Now I'm going to glue the big old egg. Make sure you glue him over the feet. Now I'm going to glue little bunny's head onto the egg. Look how cute he is. I had this little carrot that came off of another Dollar Tree sign. So I'm just going to put a little carrot on him so he doesn't get hungry. And now I'll make some bows for the top of the board. I just wrap mine around, tie it. I'm a simple bow maker. And I'll use some jute twine just to tie it together real tight. You know, pull them out and fluff them. Then I'm going to take another color, do the same thing, but make it a little bit shorter than the first bow, so you can see both bows. See, I just put it together, wrap it around a couple times. Get some twine, pull it together. I'm going to double knot it. I'm going to pull that bow out too. So you can see 
both of the little bows. I think I was taking off my jacket there. Sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> Fireblaze was on. Okay, then fluff your little bow out. And then you can hot glue the bow on top of the other bow. And then hot glue your bow onto your board. Also going to get some lace and put some lace on there too. I'm going to make a little bow. Just tie it like you do a shoelace bow. And put that on top of the second bow. I guess I was trying to get it to be even on both sides because I don't want it to be longer on one side than the other. So I probably redid it. Now I'm just going to glue them all together. And then I'm going to glue the third bow onto the second bow. And then I'm just going to trim it on the back so none of the little strings hang. And there I'm gluing it onto the board. I'm going to take some wire so that I can hang it, and I'm just going to probably wrap it around a pencil or get it to be twirly or a spiral, however you want to say it. And I'm going to push it through the back and just tie it. Not tie it, but you wire it so that it doesn't come undone. And there you can see that. Sorry about my mess. I'm trying to, this is all my craft sitting right there. But I wanted you to see it all together. And there you have it. My craft room is my kitchen, so it's always a mess. I hope you will subscribe. It really helps our channel, so I thank you for watching. Hey, everyone. I got these cute little, I guess they'd be little bags. Um, they look like little trucks, but they have little handles. They made our felt, and they're just too cute to pass up. So I'm going to make some flower arrangements. I put some um, floral foam in the, inside of them. And I'm just cutting up Dollar Tree's beautiful flowers that you get for just a dollar a bunch. And I just think these are so cute. I mean, you could do other things with them. You can use them as gift bags. Maybe put some shampoo and conditioners or put some facial stuff in it or you can even use it as an Easter basket and put Easter candy in it but they're so cute and they're made pretty well they just had the pink and the blue and I'm gonna be doing the flowers all the way around so no matter where you put the little basket of flowers you'll be able to 
enjoy them from the front, the sides, and the back.
I'm not sure why my picture is so jumpy. My daughter does her, the editing, so I'm not sure why it's jumpy, but just please disregard that. Okay, I'm using my glue stick and I'm going to put the glue on the wood and then I will put out the cutout of the bunny on top of that piece of bunny wood. Okay, I'm going to do some um, different colored ribbons from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to make a bow for the bunny. I'm going to use three or four different ribbons and I'll just make three or four different bows and then stack them. Okay, I took some of the same ribbon, I was making bows, I stacked them and I glued them on top of each other. And then I took the same ribbons and cut them in half and I'm making little like um, I don't know what you would call it but like little edges I guess to go underneath of them and then I put in flowers I did different flowers I cut them and I put them in with a bow and it's going to turn out beautiful. I want to thank you for subscribing. I want to thank you for watching. If you would hit the like button and the notification bell, that would be wonderful. I wish you would share it with your family and friends. And again, have a wonderful day. Be safe and take care of each other.
Wow, is that not the cutest little chicken you've ever seen? Oh my gosh. You know, I have not seen one really cool chicken on Pinterest. I went on Pinterest to check them out and everything was more like for kids, but nothing that would be really craft worthy, I guess, for adults. So I'm going to try to make this really craft worthy to put in our house to make it look really nice. So I painted it the yellow from Dollar Tree and I'm painting both sides. This other side had a split in it. You, I mean, it didn't go all the way through, but you can see the wood was sort of cracked. So I'm doing both sides just in case you want to hang it or you're going to see it from a different side or you're going to put it in a flower arrangement or a wreath. So I always try to paint both sides because you never know what you're going to do with it. And then I'm taking the rope and I'm going to burn my fingers all the way around this chicken because I did. It's like, oh my goodness. And then I think my daughter gave me some little rubber savers for your fingers. But in the meantime, I'm burning my fingers. So there they are. It matches my little chicken, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to finish gluing this rope all the way around the chicken. I think we need to name the chicken. He needs a name. Do you want to comment below? That would be really cute. Because I know some of you have chickens in your backyard. So that would be pretty cool. Now I was going to make a messy bow. And then I changed my mind. So then I was going to use a big bow that I would made the other day. Because it was the rest of the roll. And I just started making this pretty purple bow. I got this at the Dollar Tree, I believe, or Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. But it's really pretty. It's got a sparkle to it. So it's going to jazz up this cute little chicken. And then I got a burlap bow, too, that I'll put on top of it. Cutting off the little strings in the back. Cutting off those and this, I'm going to fluff the bow up. These are all wired bows, so they actually turn out better because you can fluff them and they stay in that place. So this was from the Dollar Tree, this bow. I made it the other day because I was just sitting there with nothing to do so I made a bow but I'm pretty simple on my bows I just wrap them around two times and then I layer the bows so they look so much prettier and you get different colors too But I'm loving how this is turning out. It's more of an elegant looking chick rather than a silly one. So I think it's turning out really cute. Just cutting the tails so they're shorter so you, they look better. I ended up breaking those scissors, by the way. <laughs> On a piece of metal. I was cutting a piece of metal and they broke in half. Okay, I'm drawing a little eye on him. You can't see it. But it's just I'm using my Sharpie. Well, actually, I'm using my pencil first. So in case I mess it up, I can erase it. And then I go back over it with a Sharpie. Look how cute he turned out. I think the chicken's really cute. Okay, my next one 
is a rabbit. I painted it white with probably, I'm thinking, the Waverly chalk paint. And now I'm using the little pearls and rhinestone stickers from Dollar Tree. And I'm telling you, I love how this turned out. It was one of my favorite pieces. It's more of a glitzy rabbit. So if you want some glitz in your Easter decor, I would recommend this highly. Because he is really, really cute. Look how cute he is. He's just, you have to sort of piece it together because you have to go around edges. So I just cut it, piece it together. Now I had this other rhinestone ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to give him a little necklace or her. I'm going to give her a little necklace. How's that? Because I don't think a guy would want one. Although you could have done a bow on him too or her. But look how cute this is. I mean, I love this guy or girl. Okay, I have this silver ribbon that I think I probably got it from Hobby Lobby. It's like a glitter rib just around the edges and it's a little bit like, I don't know, like a tool type material. See how pretty that is? It's got black around the edges. So this is going to be her tail. This is going to be her. Maybe. I can't remember. What did I do with it, Angelina? I can't remember. Anyway, we'll see. Because I did this a couple of days ago. Okay, and then just fluff the bow out. Okay, I'm putting a little black wire through. So in case you want to hang her. Look, is, is that not gorgeous? I think that turned out beautiful. I do. Beautiful. Look at that. That is the cutest bunny ever. Oh my God. Okay, so my daughter suggested an egg, which I thought was a great idea. So I'm going to do an egg to go with the bunny. So again, I painted it white. This time I just used um, Dollar Tree paint, the white. I've got the ribbon, which is called Diamond Wrap from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut pieces across. And by the way, I picked up a piece of tile. I also have some in my... I had some in my garage, but I was too lazy to actually go hunt it down so we were in Home Depot the other day and they had it for three dollars and 88 cents so I like it because you can get glue on it you can get paint on it and everything's just gonna wipe right up uh, one of my girlfriends does this and uh, she had suggested it because I she saw that everything was sticking to my paper so all you crafters out there, get a piece of tile. It's so much better. I mean, no more sticking to wax paper or brown paper or wood. Nothing's going to stick to this. And it was really pretty. So that's my new thing to share with everybody. Okay, again, I'm going to use the same pearl and rhinestone stickers from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to go around the egg. And this actually sticks really good. It's 
got a lot of adhesive on it. So you just got to press it down real good. This turned out really cute too. They're my fancy egg and fancy bunny. And I'm making a little tag for it, like a little loop, and I'm just going to glue it to the back. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It goes so well with my bunny. Go make a beautiful glitzy egg. And there it is again. And you're going to see it with the bunny. Okay, this is the piece of tile that I got. I, we thought we'd show it. Um, and there's my little chicken. But on the back of the tile, I put um, the little felt pads from Dollar Tree. So I put that all the way on so it won't scratch my counter. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Okay, I'm painting the bunny white with um, the white paint that I got at Hobby Lobby, which is chalk paint. And actually, it really works nice, but now they're not doing their 40% coupon, so it's not worthwhile. I made a little pom-pom out of white yarn and that's going to be his bunny tail. I'm using some of the twine from Dollar Tree. Actually all this comes from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to tie it around the little bunny's neck. Trying not to choke him because we want to keep him safe and happy and healthy. And I'm just twisting it towards the back because it is like a wired type twine. And I'm just using my little wire cutters to wire. I mean to cut them, sorry, <laughs> to wire, yeah. I've got some beautiful purple flowers that I'm going to hot glue next to his little collar or necklace. And I'm just snipping off the ends and hot gluing to the bunny. And then I'm going to take the same twine and make a little hanger so it all looks very like put together and uniform. I had a cramp in my foot. And look how cute he is. Pretty little bunny. Love the way he turned out. He is so cute. Or she. It's a he or she. However, it's pretty. Next is some crosses that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, they have many different sizes and shapes and kinds. And I'm going to just use the wood because when I think of, you know, Jesus on the cross, I think of wood and branches that are all natural. So I'm just going to sort of dry brush the burnt umber onto the cross. 
And then I'm going to take some jute cord and I'm just going to wrap it around the cross. And I'm just wrapping it around the top, then I'll go around the sides, then I'll go around the bottom. You don't really have to cut it until you get to the end. So, and then you just sort of, you know, twist it around the sides. I'd sort of put some glue on the back so that it wouldn't, the very beginning wouldn't come undone. And just keep twisting it around till you get the bottom and then the sides. Just wanted something simple. And a great reminder that Easter is coming and it is about Jesus. And I love how this cross turned out. So when I finish, I glued that end together too, so it wouldn't unravel. Got some more of the white twine. It's actually like a garland, I guess, a berry garland. And I'm making a little wreath. I got that uh, greenery. Where did I get that greenery? I believe I got that from Hobby Lobby. No, I got it from Walmarts. I got the greenery from Walmarts. I ended up ordering some more on Amazon. They had a better deal, so I really like the way you can make wreaths out of this little vine. And the leaves are very tiny, so it makes it really petite and pretty. So I was also excited to get it from Amazon. I'm going to start linking my some of my things down below. Um, this is all new to me, so <laughs> I'm getting there slo slowly but surely. I got an Instagram account, I'm going to do a Facebook group, and I'm getting there. Six kids, it takes a lot, and it's only one parent, so look how pretty that is. It's just simple and pretty, and I love the way it turned out. And I'm probably going to get a, a lot of these crosses away to my friends, so I'll be giving these away. I love the way this one looks. It's just simplistic all right i had a lot of bunnies so i'm excited about doing more bunnies because they are fun to work with i'm probably going to do easter maybe through this weekend and then i'm going to go back to spring decor and farmhouse decor but it's kind of fun because my kids are here to do the easter stuff and they get to see it so probably one more weekend of easter and then i'll put everything away and I'll give most of it away. I have a store, though, if anybody wants to buy any. It's the coffee store. And it's Crafty Mom with three sets of twins. So, and my prices are very, very reasonable. So, if you wanted to buy something, please head on over there. Or, if you want to, you could buy me a cup of coffee. That would be nice, too. I'm loving how this one's turning out, too. Look at this gorgeous scrapbook paper. It is perfect for Easter. It would look good as an egg, as a chick, as a bunny rabbit. I got it in one of those big value packs. I think I've talked about this before. It's a holiday, so it's got all the holidays in this big pack, which is pretty cool. So I made a little jute bow out of the ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. It's got the wire in it, so it does stand up and look really nice. I'm going to use this box, which came from Christmas time. And I'm going to glue the jute cord all around this box and burn my fingers many times <laughs> because I always burn my fingers no matter what.
I eventually put on the little, I guess, rubber finger protectors. I think my daughter tries to find them for me. I have gloves too, but they don't work well if you're working with something small. A wreath or something big, I think they work great. But for little small things that you're doing, you can't really get in there and press it down. Okay, I'm cutting the little bunny out. Again, because I'm going to put the bunny on both sides. So that when I put him in my decor, you will be able to see that beautiful paper from the front and the back. So after you use that glue stick, which I love because I don't burn my fingers on that, it works perfect. I love it. I think it's better than Mod Podge unless you're just covering some letters that you don't want to come off, but this glue works fine. Okay, I'm just going to add some little flowers to my little bow. Okay, as you can see, I covered the box completely with the jute. I have put the scrapbook paper on the bunny, both front and back. I'm gluing him in there. I like this particular one because it's got that little piece in the back so he can sit up. He sits up on that. Now I'm using some moss from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put that in the box. And I'm loving how this is turning out. It's farmhouse looking. It's cute. I actually have it in my foyer right now. I ended up using the pom-pom because it was going to fit better. The other one that I showed before a few seconds ago was from Dollar Tree, but it was just too big. So I made another pom-pom, which you just wrap it around your fingers as many times as you want. Tie it in the middle, and then you can just glue it on. Okay, I got some little carrots that I got off of the Dollar Tree garland. I just cut the garland. And I'm going to put some carrots in the little box with the Spanish moss. And then I've got some little eggs that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I absolutely love this little guy. Look how cute this is. It is so cute. Like I said, he's on my table in my foyer. I love the way he looks. It's one of my favorites. So if you have a favorite that I've done, go ahead and comment down below. And thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell. And share with your family and friends. And have a wonderful day.